coming home with me? No, home. So you want me to go sleep alone tonight? You're dead. You're wicked. Yeah. I'm tired too. You are wicked. Uh, suggested I serve you tea in bed so it will help clear the hangover. My father? Yeah. When did he return? He came back from Europe last night. We were not alone. Oh. Take your tea, Miss Ineka. Your father said you're very good for you. I can take care of myself. My father should stop saying anything. I can take care of myself. If I need tea, I can fix it for myself. Okay? And I'm sick and tired of being treated as if I don't know, have a mind of my own. I'm sorry. Who dressed me in this? Probably your father did. You know, I go home once at 7.30 in the evening. Take that away, Juliet. Okay, Miss Princess doing this morning. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. How do you feel? A little bit sore, but I'll get over it. That's why I suggested hot tea for you this morning. Did you let fix it for you? Daddy, I can take care of myself. Come on, listen to the way you talk to your father. Last night you were drunk and you drove him under the influence of alcohol. I've been hearing that all my life. I'm sick and tired of being treated as if I'm a moron. But you keep forgetting one thing. That you were never there when I needed you most. It's always Bangkok or London or Paris or wherever, man. Daddy, please. Please. I live for you, girl. All my wealth is yours. Daddy, I know all that. And I don't want to hear that. Please, I don't want to. You 
walking out of me. With this trunk! Hey, what you hey. What? You dare talk back at me? Can you imagine Miriam? Who is this mad girl? This is the next teacher in this. <laughs> Come here. Cut you a look. And as for you, level. Better look for another girl that will take care of your bills. anything to do with that girl, seriously. Are you sure? It's just Whoa, that. and what are you doing with her? Hello, girl. Hey, hi. 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 Hmm. How are you doing? What are you doing here? Oh, Andrew. I'm so sorry. Okay. Andrew called me that I should beg on his behalf. And I told him that he'll be here. So that you guys will sort things out. Please, baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really Hold sorry. your breath, Andrew. And what haven't I done for you? Huh? I pay for your trips abroad. I fill your car. I pay for your designer's clothes, even this one you're putting on. And the only way you can pay me back is by running around town with cheap girls. Right? You messed up. Baby, I'm sorry. Hey, there will not be a next time. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. So it's better you go. Miriam, please, please just help me talk to her. Are you crying? I mean, her. Hey, Miriam. It's either he leaves or I leave. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry, okay? As it is now, I can't just lose my friend. There are a lot of girls out there. You can get yourself any other. Please. She, she will understand that. Please help me talk I'm, to her. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Please. My door is waiting. Please. Hit the door. Oh. So, so. I'm so sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of all this chill on boys. I see, I know. I need a real man in my life, you know, a mm -hmm. man that can set my body oh, on fire. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> so, so, please go get ready. Oh, I'm running out of time. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> Do you want anything? Of course, you know I want the red wine, you know. I'm drinking it. <laughs> Ten minutes. No problem. Where is your car? My uh, car is over there, the other bend. What's the problem? Did you solve it? The car won't just start. Are you alone? Of course I'm alone. I'm just standing here alone. Please. How can I trust you? Please, I'm not a criminal. OK, hop in.
событие. leadership in this country. The state government has refused to pay you for the contract you sunk your millions into. That could happen to anyone. How long can we continue to live like this? How long? How long? Sweetheart, I told you to sell our property or move into a smaller place where you refused. No. No. I'm not going to sell our property. I won't. I mean, that's the only thing that gives us assurance right now. The house and the car. Sweetheart, for how long? For how long will we continue like this? Huh? So that we have to swallow our pride and build up for tomorrow. Besides, I'll be here for you whenever, wherever, okay? You don't have to give yourself a up. I'm still not gonna tell her about it. Because I know that someday, somewhere, something good will happen. I have faith too, okay? So let's believe in God. That we have to sleep. You have to stop thinking. It's not good for your health, alright? Good night. All these things, they're really, really dirty. I need to get another dryer. Hello. You feel good. <laughs> You are a nasty girl. So, what's this thing you were telling me on phone? Mm. I think I have found my perfect man. Really? The only man for me. God, this man is so handsome, so cute, he's so uh. hot. <laughs> ah. Oh, then, okay. Ah. Where did you meet him and when? You know when I dropped you off last night? My car broke down on the road and like Prince Charming, he appeared and rescued his princess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. So, what are you planning to do? What I want to do? <laughs> babe, I am going to meet this guy in his office. I will not allow this opportunity to pass me by. Of course. You know his office already? Yeah, you know, he gave me his car. Okay. What are you going to drink? I'm sure going to celebrate. Mm, let's see. Let's do champagne. Champagne! Mm. Alright, okay. I'll call me. And get I it. hope it's chill, you know. Very, very, very chill. I like it chill. Good morning, bro. Good morning, sir. Welcome, sir. Ice my dance, sir. Eva, please come, okay? Madam, is Sir Peter dead? No, sir. No? Sir, he said that he's an old debt. A two-year-old debt and that he forfeited the debt, sir. I forfeited the debt? No, sir. When? How? Actually, sir, I saw the documents you, you signed. It was dated two years ago, April 23rd to be precise, sir. This is, this is strange. How can I don't remember? I forfeited the debt. 
I know you are passing through financial stress and that you are only me two months salary, sir. Please allow me to go and look for another job. You can pay me whenever the money comes, but at least I won't be a burden to you anyhow, sir. Eva, don't talk like that. You were with me when I started this company. You've always been there for me. Come on, I, yes, I agree we're going through hardship, but we've had our good times. But I won't be a burden to you, sir, if I go. I know, but okay, what if somebody comes in here and there's no secretary? I'm, I'm gonna look bad, business won't be looking so good. Please, come on, just hang in there a little longer, all right? Okay, just, just give me a minute or two and then you can send her in, alright? I never told you my name. Sit down. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Mecca. Okay. How did you locate me? You gave me your card, remember? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. I that night, uh, did it turn out right? Yeah, I got a taxi. Thank you so much. You're I would have fallen a victim in the hands of the underworld if not for your candid gesture. I um, mean, hey, we all need to be our brother's keepers, right? Sister's keeper. Ah, yeah. Sister, brother, yeah, I know what you mean. I must say you are successful. Really? Business is bad for me. Really? I mean, what you see now, it's, it's what I would call the good old days. But um, your office doesn't look like that of a struggling man. Well, I will do any business that will fetch me some money right now just to, so I can pay my bills, you know, because I, I did this project for the state government, put all my cash in there, and I'm not getting my money back. That, that's why I'm in this state. You are quite open-minded. Are you always like this? You can never know who will be your lifesaver. You can never know. There's so many I'd like you to meet. He's got connection in the government. You never know, he might pull one or two strings. You're kidding me, right? No. And you think you can help me? That's like that. I'll see what I can do. Yeah? All the time deserves some other. Wow. You see what I mean? <laughs> yeah? I'll have to take my leave now. Oh, shoot, oh, let, me, let me see you off. Hey. So this guy we're talking about, when he did you get to meet him? The two of you are the most wonderful couples I have ever met. Messi says the standard for the kind of woman I would love to marry. Mike, can you just go out there and get your own? And leave my Messi alone. <laughs> I'll find my someday. So tell me, who was that horse babe that just left? Oh, her name is uh, Neka. Yeah. It's a lady I gave lift to three nights ago on my way home. You gave her a lift? Yeah. Sam. Oh my, please stop it. So tell me, how did she locate you? Oh, I gave her my card that night. Did you gave her your card? I'm not doing anything stupid. Besides, she, she brought me business. She brought you business? Yes. What do you mean by that? You're my best friend, okay? And I know you found a mess. So I'm not going to be doing anything stupid. Especially know how you go snooping around. Come on, I so. To see. Such ladies mean trouble, and she is trouble. I felt it. So what brings you in my neighborhood? Okay, I was around the neighborhood. I said, let me just 
pop in and see how my friend's business is doing. Business is still bad, man. Still bad. Yes. I'm home. I'm going to teach you now the dad, right? So you can probably give me a second. Oh, God. Sweetheart, you're early today. There was not much in the office to do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, What's cooking? Um, vegetable here. Yeah. Is, is that why you look like that? How? You look very plain. Like... Plain. Sweetheart, I mean, I've been looking like this for some time now and you've never complained. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I didn't mean, mean to come out like that. I didn't mean to sound that way, right? I just want you to be sophisticated, you know, hanging earrings, makeup. We've been trying to conserve funds. I mean, it's been long. I used cosmetics or visited the um, beauty parlor. It's been long. That's why I'm looking like this. I'm sorry. I understand you. I didn't mean it to come out like that. speaking with please is Sam there yes this is Sam oh hi this is Neka the lady you gave a lift the other night yeah are you alone um um a no, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you, your wife is there. Wow. You tell her that someone has fallen for her cute husband. Where are you going to be around 1 p.m.? I'll be in my office. Okay, then. I'll see you there. Good night. Hey, 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 wait. Dream of me, okay? Yeah, okay, good night. <laughs> Ooh, he has a wife. Hmm. Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't think so. Who was this person I just called you? Um, some... Somebody who wants to give me some business connection. Somebody I know? No, 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 no. You don't, you don't, you don't know. No. 
I mean, if I mention the name, you will know who it is. You promised to tell each other everything. So what's the big deal about this person that I'm refusing to talk? I mean, who is this person? I mean, what does he do? What does she do? Who? Just say it. Uh, the, the, there is this lady that I met and I gave lift to three days ago on my way home. And she wants to introduce me to some influential people. But so, are you going to her office to see her? Uh, yes. So, you have your name. Okay. Thanks. Sir, mm -hmm. Mr. Neka is here to see you, sir. Neka? Yes, sir. Sir Hi. What you up on the Oh, <laughs> forgive my manners. I mean, I was just admiring your beauty. Have a seat. Thank you. You were very handsome as well. Thank you. So how is Madam? Oh, she's fine. She better hold on tight onto you, because you can sweep any woman off her feet. Anyway, far from that, I um, got in touch with my cousin and he would like to meet you. When does he want to meet with me? Next weekend, at my place. So soon? <laughs> wow. You'll be there, right? Um, no, you can come with your wife if uh -huh. you want to. That won't be very professional. No. Sam, you know you need this contact very much. Opportunity comes but once. Grab it with both hands. So, see you then. Alright. Sir, Madame was here to see you. And the way she was sounding, so I think she was not happy. Why? I don't know, sir. and it's coming my way from the kitchen I guess. I'm preparing your favorite um, jello fries and fried chicken. Yeah, I'm made it. Hot beverage. I can't wait. <laughs> you know? I, I'm sorry, I already have to um, check what's on my okay? Please hurry. I'll check this right I now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. So, how's it going? I still they look like look man. <laughs> See, life is full of ups and downs. Yeah. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh yes. Hey, how is job treating you, man? I got a raise. A raise? Yes. Wow. <laughs> 50 grand on my salary. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm happy for you. God is good. Thanks. Sam. Mercy is every man's dream. My mercy? Yeah, of course. Hey, I know. She deserves to be happy. Absolutely. I don't think she is right now. What, what do you mean? And please, sir. I hope he has nothing to do with that young lady friend of yours who gave lift some nights ago like you told me. Mike, please stop it. Stop it. There's no problem. There's nothing wrong. I mean, if there was something happening, you would be the first to know what you're saying. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Very soon, okay? Sit down, sit down. Yeah. It's fine, alright? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How is work? Mm -hmm. Progress. Okay. Salary increments. <laughs> Oh, 
You need to bed. What about the news? Aren't you going to watch the 9 o'clock news? Mercy. Mercy. Yes? What's the matter? Nothing. Mercy, you can't say nothing because I know something is bugging you. Samia, the one bugging me. I mean, I love you so much. And it, it hurts to know that another woman is sniffing around. There is no woman sniffing around. Alright? If you're referring to Eneka, the lady I give lift to, then you're wrong because I, I'm not even attracted to this lady. I don't find her attractive. Honestly. I mean, I, I only need her because of the contacts that I will get from her. You know how much I need the contact to re re reboost my, my, my business? I know. No, but it's just that. I mean, it is threatening our relationship. Oh. I mean, Sam, I love you so much and I can't stand another woman okay. coming around. It's okay. I can't. Mercy, I love you too. Mercy, I love you. There is no threat nowhere. Put up a smile. Give me a smile. I'm Come smiling. on. <laughs> huh? I'm smiling. All right. Call, okay, pick it. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. You want me to come to your your house and meet up with a contact tomorrow evening? Okay. Thank you. She wants me to come to her house tomorrow evening and meet up with the contact. I know, I had it. You know my house? No. no. Listen, listen, baby. If you don't want me to go to her place, I won't go. Just say it. I don't know. It's just that. I mean, you need the contacts, right? But can't it be somewhere else? Maybe somewhere apart from the house? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call her up and ask her to change the venue. Change the place. How about that? It's you okay. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> you like that, yeah. you? Jealous, you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it has to be. It's just, it's crazy. Going to our house. So, you said to cancel the appointment with her, right? Yeah, I mean, the way things are going, I don't want anything to put a strain on our marriage. I can't afford that right now. Okay, um, this friend you're going to see, what is he like? Oh, he, um, like I said, he's an old friend that I bumped into the last time. He said he had some contacts. So, I'll meet up with him at Blue Lagoon. And then he would take me to his chief's place. Um, you said this chief works with the Ministry of Works? Yeah. So he says. How do I look? You look gangster. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Give me five. <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, you. Uh -huh. Listen, this time around, uh -huh. God is definitely going to put out right? You know that, right? Amen. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> You're your 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 appointment for seven seven p.m. Um, yeah, seven p.m. You're running late. You have to get going. I know. <laughs> I see you okay. Love you. Love you too. I miss you. Miss you. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wish you luck. Wish me luck. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> go. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. God. <laughs> Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Ah, you have a nice place here. Beautiful. Mm. Like the green and the brown. <laughs> Thank you so much. But it's my father. Still. He's not around for now. He traveled. I okay. won't be around for a long time. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so. What do I offer you? Nothing. I'm alright. Nothing? Yeah, I'm good. Come on, this is your first time here. You should take something. Uh, I'm sure they'll be out of time. Where is uh, the gentleman I'm supposed to meet? Whom is it? 
Yeah, um, the personal assistant to the governor. He's my cousin. Wow. Yeah, he'll soon be here. Okay, cool. Um, you know, the state owes me a lot of money. Yeah, that's the more reason why I want you to meet him. You know, a word here and there to the state governor. Make the state government to pay you your money. Thank God for the day I met you. Really? Really? Ah, excuse me. Hello, Edwin. What was keeping you? We're waiting for you. Oh, and you can't make it anymore. Okay. Don't worry, I understand. Okay then, bye. Um, that's my cousin. He can't make it because uh, they've got a meeting to attend tonight. We are still going to meet him, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> okay, good, cool, because I was getting worried now. <laughs> Since he's not coming, what do you say we spend some time together the rest of the evening? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Um, except my wife is waiting for me, so I can't. Yeah. Hey, I don't think that would be necessary. Just spend some time with me, okay? Oh, please. Yeah, I wish I could. I mean, I want to, but... Oh, my wife is waiting. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Let me beg you. Please. Please. Maybe some other time. Okay. Cousin Edwin, the special advisor to the state governor, special duties. Edwin, meet Sam Okumpo, the businessman I told you about. Yes, Sam Okumpo. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. I you won't be staying long because I have to make a tour with His Excellency to Dubai this afternoon. But I had to oblige the invitation because of my cousin. She has already briefed me on everything um, about the money the state government is owing you. Uh, she told me you did the ID card project for the state. Yes, sir. I sank my whole life saving in that project. That was a good job. I have already briefed His Excellency about it. Like I said, we'll be traveling. So come to the office on Monday with all the necessary documents. I'll make a presentation. I'm very positive, uh, very optimistic something positive will come out of it. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. I, I, I don't know where to begin to thank you now. No, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. 
Mecca. You don't have to do what you want. Thank you very much, sir. I don't have to curate certain things. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Okay, then. Thanks. So, okay. I'll see you, sir. All right. Let me, let me see you more. Mercy! Have a seat. Mercy! Look, we did it. We did it, baby. We did it. Look at it. Look at the chair. Look at the chair. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Right there. All the money right in there. Ten million now. Can you believe it? <laughs> you need to thank Nika right here. You need to thank her. She made it happen. She made it possible. The guy signed it to the last of us. Can you believe it? Let's see. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. No, it's okay. Honestly, your husband is a nice person. The governor happens to like my cousin, so it's not much of a problem. <laughs> so, um, um, what can I offer you? Drink or something, anything? Um, thanks, but I'm okay. And I think I need to go now. So soon? I have a couple of things to tidy up at home, so... It's alright. I mean, she wants to go. It's fine. Yes, I will just drop you off. Hey, yeah, you listen. Let me just drop her off, okay? okay. Uh, you keep the check. Mm -hmm. Make sure nothing happens to the check, right? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll be back, right? It was nice to you. Neka, I'm so very excited. I mean, I'm even lost for words right now. I know maybe you, you, it sounds like I'm overthinking you, but I don't even know which adjective or expression to use anymore. Thank you so very much. I'm very excited right now. You know what, Sam? You're a very nice man. Thank you. And I like you a lot. So, let me get us another drink. Oh no, it's alright. This is fine, it's okay. I mean, we already drank a whole bottle. It's alright. My wife will be waiting for me, so I guess I have to go now. But there's no need to go. I insist. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> it's just that, uh, I mean, now that I have enough capital to run a real business, I just need to boat out, you know, just get some work done now. No. You know, you thanked me, okay? And... So, what next? Um, <clears throat> what next would be... <clears throat> I would just have to... You know, I have enough capital now to start I can bid, yeah. you know, for this contract in Abuja, you know, road construction. So yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the Mecca. What? Yeah. What's going on? I consider you as a friend. I mean, you're beautiful and all, but. I'm sorry, I, I can't bring myself to cheat on my wife and I can't please really stop it. I'm sorry, okay. I appreciate everything you've done for me. You know, it's I appreciate it. Don't don't think otherwise, but I can't cheat on my wife, alright? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Thanks for the drink and everything. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm ready.
He's not picking. He's still not picking. like an animal. Yeah. It's because I wanted you badly like that. No, there is more to it. What do you mean? I mean, it was like you were fighting an inner demon. A, a demon? Yes. Neka. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about. Stop pretending, okay? Sam, I know that you like her. I, I know you want that whore. Mercy, she's not a whore. She's our saving grace, remember? Saving grace? Just hear yourself out. You say she's your saving grace? What I meant to say is, she gave my business a new life. Alright? That's what I meant to say. You remember it was because of her contacts that the government paid her money back. Remember? I know that, okay? Listen, Sam, I am a woman. Flesh and blood. I mean, she came here to see you. You dropped her off. And she was earlier at your office. And you, you complained that I looked plain. Put me in your shoes. What, 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 what would you be thinking? I mean, you like her, I know it. Just admit it, you like her. Mercy. I'm not gonna lie and listen to all of this, alright? Sam, what are you doing? Sam, you're not walking out on me. Sam, I'm talking to you. Sam, I'm talking to you. You can just. Good wife to what you want. He didn't sleep in the room. No. It's about her, right? Mercy. We've been through a lot together. Please. She's on your mind, right? It's you that was on my mind. You're my wife. You're my best friend. You, you're the person on my mind. Are you sure? It's always been like that, Miss. And it always will be. I want to pledge my love to you. That I will always love you. This is a Neka. Neka that helped your husband in getting his money from the state government. Oh, Neka, how are you? Yeah, my husband is not around. You tell him I called. Yes, we'll call you when he returns. I'll be sure he calls when he returns. Okay, have a nice day. Is there anything else you want me to do for you today? No, that's okay. May I go home now? Okay. If there's anything, you call me on phone. I'll come over.
I am. What is going on? I called earlier around. You've been avoiding my calls. For the sake of what I did for you, let's see this evening. Yes, there's something very important I want us to discuss. Please just try and come, okay? I'm sure. Yeah. Why are you coming to you coming too close to me? Is there any problem with that? And I am a single girl. Nika, you don't do this. Okay. Don't, don't I, do it. Don't do it. Why don't you want me to do it? did a good job. Thank you, Mr. Nika. You know what? I'm gonna give you 50,000 naira tomorrow. You can now go. Thank you, Mr. Nika. Wow. Let me see how he gets off my track. <laughs> so how is my daughter in law doing? I'm fine, thank you, Ma. Good, I'm well. He's fine, he, he went to work. Um, mommy, I wasn't expecting you till evening. Yes, I decided to take the morning flight. How is everything? Everything is fine. Sure? Everything's alright. And you feel that she poses a threat to your marriage? Yes, mom. But the thing here is that she helped Sam in getting his money from the state government. But that shouldn't be the reason why she should mortgage my son's marital happiness. Mother, what's the problem? Your marriage. My marriage? There is nothing wrong with my marriage. Samuel, who is the young girl that helped you to get your contract money from the state government? Who is she? So you've been talking to... My mother-in-law, of course. You've taught me to show gratitude to whoever helps me, right? That's right. Okay, so why do you want me to change now? That is exactly what I'm doing. I got help from the lady and I'm showing my gratitude. And besides, she's very harmless. She's harmless? Yes, she is. I mean, this girl is trying to seduce you. I, I, I can feel it. I'm not going to sit here and listen to all of this. Summer. Because for me, there is no problem. Summer, please sit down. No, please. Summer, come back here. Don't walk out on me. Come back here, Summer. Someone, you are getting this on it. How can you walk out on your mother? Your wife is right. Something is influencing you negatively. Mother, there is nothing influencing me, okay? Mercy just being paranoid, that's it. Someone, I am your mother. I carried you in my womb for nine months. I cannot deceive you. Mercy is a blessing to you. She married you when you were nothing. She has been there during your stormy days. 
She deserves some respect from you. Please, whatever that is upsetting her should be addressed first. Do you hear me? Samuel, I am talking to you. Do you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. I'll be going to Dubai tomorrow morning. By the time I'm done with my shopping, I'll pass through here to iron out your differences. Okay. So, have you heard from your dad? Uh -huh. Yeah, I have. He's just there, you know, enjoying himself, having oh, yeah. fun. <laughs> oh, you know, don't mind the man, Jerry. Is your prince charming? And when am I going to meet him? Well, he's there. But uh, still playing the hardball. Hardball. <laughs> Always talking about his wife. What? He's married? Anyway, he claims to be a faithful husband, so. God! A married man. What? What are you doing with him anyway? What is wrong with a married man? Christ, I am tired of all these chewing gum boys. You know, I need a matured man. I don't really understand, but... Hey, you know what? I have something to show you. Wow. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. What is this? That is my ticket to having him to myself. A blackmail? <laughs> whatever you call it, okay? But whatever I want, I get. This Korea is married, I don't okay? care. Please. Anyway, time up. Time for viewing. It's the Uber. Come on, Nika! You know what? Let's drink to this. Yeah? Alright. So what brings you here today? Uh, I came over to see you and to show you this. You know something, Sam? All my life, I've always been having my way in most things. But something has been missing. A man of my dreams. I found you. And I intend to keep you to myself. Is this what I think it is? Yes. And I sure has got that. Oh listen, okay, I'm begging you. Hey, I cannot have an affair with you. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're a beautiful lady, you're good looking. But I can't do it. Why, Sam? Because I made a vow to my wife that I will not have an affair with another woman. Bullshit! I want you, and I must have you. I still have my those pictures. Listen, Naka, please don't do it. Sam, there is more to you and your wife that you're not telling me. I must make sure she sees those pictures. Listen, listen. I don't know how to tell you all about it. I don't know. Tomorrow evening at my place. I'll be waiting to hear the story. And she sees the pictures.
what I'm about to tell you might sound very strange, but it's absolutely true. I married Mercy because of her wealth. Her wealth? Yeah. So how come you were going through financial problems since your wife had money? That's what the mystery is. You see, I'm from a very poor background. My father died when I was very young. And um, my mother and I struggled to get me through my education. I found work. After that, I worked with this advertising agency for like five years. They went back grew up. I was back on the street for some months. And that is when I met Mercy. Like me, she's also from a poor background. Her mother died giving birth to her. Years later, her very distant uncle willed all his wealth to her. Only if she's happily married and stays married for at least 10 years. Really? Yeah. Stranger than fiction, her uncle, who was an oil mogul, married and got divorced six times or because of infidelity his wife's infidelity well his sixth wife bore him a child a son but at that point the doctors told him that he could not make a woman pregnant he decided to will his wealth to mercy only if the conditions I mentioned earlier would be fulfilled This is wonderful. Okay. As we speak, there's a lawyer on standby willing to sign all the papers. We've done like eight years of marriage. We have two more years to go. And I'm not willing to let anything spoil that. You see? That makes the two of us. How? You know what, Sam? You were selfish. You want to be faithful to your wife so that you can partake in her uncle's wealth. And at the same time, I want to keep you to myself because I want you. But you need to see my reasons. No, you see reasons with me. I love my wife. So how come you were talking about her wealth? Yeah, I know. But I love her. I still love her. So my father is rich too. You can have access to his wealth if you stay with me. Fine. What about my oath? I am going to have you no matter what it takes, Sam. Or do you want me to show your wife the pictures? I know you don't want that. Come on, kiss me. I can't. Why? Because but you did it already. Because I was carried away right now in my right senses. I can't. Stop all this, please. Huh? I'm going to have you no matter what it takes. Did you hear me? what it takes. Take me away from you. Mm -hmm. Here I'm standing on the verge of life. Counting seconds as the days goes by. Are you okay? Now I'm so lonely. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. 
I don't believe you. Listen, we are financially okay for now. So what is troubling you? Or are you doing anything stupid? No. No. Sir, I love you so much. I love you not withstanding the, the, the finances ahead of us. Okay? And you're the man I want to spend all that with. You're the one I want to spend my old age with. I want to go old with you. Is there any problem? Oh, no, no, there's no problem. I came around to see my friend. Is he home? And who is your friend? Sam, of course. At this time of the night? Mecca, my husband is a married man. And we are happy together. Is there anything wrong with a married man having a single girl as a friend? I mean... He benefited from the friendship, have you forgotten? And we have thanked you enough. I guess you don't want me around. Neka, you're very cute and sexy. And my husband is a very handsome man. So, you know what I'm driving at? Are you the jealous guy? I'm just protecting my husband from temptation. Temptation? Me? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You better hold on tight to your husband because... Because what? Hmm? Um, tell your husband I called to say hi. Yeah? Neka, my wife told me you were around today. She doesn't find all of this funny, okay? I'm a married man and you know that. Can we just try and work something out? Hello? Hello? Can we try and work something out? Can we try and work something out? I mean, what is going on between both of you? Yes, yes, please. You need to just take it easy, all right? Take it easy? You're asking me to take it easy. No, see, seriously, you have to tell me what is going on between both of you. What is going on? Nothing. 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 Listen, Sam, you don't sound convincing to me at all. You don't sound convincing to me. Apart from the, the wealth that we both share, I love you and you know that. You won't understand. It's a little more complicated than that. It's complicated, right? If there's anyone complicating things here, it is you that is complicating the issue. You're not complicating this issue. It's complicated. Like I said, you won't understand. Sam, what is going on? Sam, I'm talking to you. What is going on? Just answer what is going on. Take me away from me. Messy. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Um, I don't know. I just, I'm so sorry to have disturbed you, okay? But I feel that I can talk to you. Yes, no. It's Sam. Sam? Yes. What happened to Sam? I feel that he's having an affair with that girl called Neka. The one that got the contract for us at the the state house. Uh, are they are they having an affair? I don't know. It's just that I don't have proof right now, but I know that there's something going on between them. Listen, I love Sam so much. I love him so much. 
It's okay. It's okay. Please don't do this. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's kind of lost. You can't cheat on me. Oh, no, Sam. You can't go to your back. What are you doing, man? You cuddling my wife? Sam, what are you talking about? I'm talking about what I just saw! Don't blame him, okay? If there's anyone to be blaming, it should be you, alright? Okay. Stop blaming him! Okay, so both of you are scheming against me. Come on, Sam. What's wrong with you? What just happened to you? My dad in the house. Get out and don't come back! Sam! Get out! I'm serious! Listen, this is madness! Like, what is wrong with you? This is madness! What has come over you? Sam, I am your best friend. Yes! When you cut me my wife, I understand you. You've been saying for God knows how long, how much you like her. And now you're even cuddling her under my roof. And you say you're my best friend. I'm supposed to smile about it. I, yeah! I can't take this anymore. I can't just this anymore. I'm living in this country. I can't take this. Come on, come on. Let's please don't say that. It hasn't gotten to that, okay? Man, can you get out? Sam, I will leave. Yes, go! But before I do that, I want you to know that I am the best friend you will ever have. As for that girl that is influencing you, she will bring you nothing but trouble. And uh, what is happening? Why are you crying? Talk to me, just say, why are you crying? Samuel, didn't you hear what your wife said? Mother, there is more to it, alright? It is very complicated than you think. That's what he keeps saying, it is complicated. Mercy is a blessing to you. Do not be rash. Mother, you don't have to tell me that, please. You don't have to tell me that. Alright? There's a lot more between Mercy and I than people know about. What are you talking about? Sam, you don't have to say that, okay? I mean, this is between both of us. Is there something that I don't know? Um, mommy, this is between Sam and I. I will want to keep it that way, okay? Mercy. Where do you stand? Mommy, I love your son very much. Maybe I should just leave this town and travel abroad until the dust settles because I, I can't be going through this anymore. I'm tired of all this. Really, I'm tired. What is going on here? Mother, can you just leave us to solve our problem? We will solve it. I will leave tomorrow morning. But whatever it is, someone, mercy is a blessing to you. Hello, Dad. I'm good. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, everybody's fine. So when are you coming back? In another two months? No, it's okay. I understand perfectly. I'm not complaining. I'm used to it already. What? You want me to take over the business after my youth service? Dad, you're joking! <laughs> of course I am game! <laughs> yes, 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 it's okay. Alright then, bye. Right. I love you, of course, Daddy. Actually, I was talking to my father. He's not coming home for another two months. Wow. <laughs> well, success has its own price. And I guess your father is paying his. So, how are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. So, have you let go of him? Come on, you know who I'm talking about, right? Mary. Are you really my friend? Of course, I am. Then you know what? Let's just drop anything about him, okay? Oh, come on. He's married for crying out loud. So? So? I don't really buy the idea. Or encourage you to break some this phone. Because this is like totally, you know, a mess. And it's not good. You know what? 
you are not my friend. Because if you were my friend as you claim, you would want my happiness. So let's drop it. But of course I want your happiness. What do you want? Huh? There are lots of guys out there that you can easily just pick one. Why him? That's it. Leave my house. What? You heard me. Are you deaf? I said, leave my house. Now. Come on. I'm your friend. Miriam. You're my friend. Is that what you said? If you were my friend, you would want my happiness. So please leave my house now. Yourself. Sorry, Miss Nika. But Sister Miriam happens to be your best friend. I didn't ask for your opinion here. Get to the kitchen and make my dinner. Please, Miss Nika, you promised to give me 50,000 there. I'll give it to you later. Get to the kitchen. Thank you. Neka, don't call me anymore, all right? Don't call me. In fact, just stay clear of me. Just leave me alone. But would you... Hello? 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 What is all this? What kind of woman is this? Damn. What is all this? Can you imagine? He hung up on me. I mean no harm. You mean no harm? Yeah. Your bad news. That's what you are. Your bad news. You want to hear bad news? I'll give it to you. Is that all you have to say? Neka, you can't underestimate the power of love, okay? I mean, you expect me to get angry and leave Sam so you could take over, right? Sweetheart, I am not dumb, okay? I love my husband and he loves me too. And nothing can separate us, not even you. So you mean you were not angry that Sam is cheating on you? No, I'm not. You're not serious, right? Very serious. Nika, you're a fool. You're a very big fool. Listen to me. I love my husband, okay? Nothing can separate us. Not even you. Get us into your thick skull. I am going to leave you for him. Not on your life, okay? What have you done? What have you done? I Mercy. love you so much, Sam. Mercy. But she wouldn't understand that. Mercy! You're not trying to call the police because we planned it together and we killed her. Oh yes. What are you talking about? I don't know anything. I don't know anything about this. Oh, really? You don't know anything about it? Oh yes, you know. 
because we are having an affair. She finds out, she confronts us, and we kill her! The picture of you on top of me confirms everything. You will go to jail with me. So don't try anything stupid. You are evil. You, you are evil. Oh no, sweetheart. I am not evil. I am obsessed with you. And I am ready to do anything to have you to myself. Okay? Clear the mess. I'm leaving. Mess. Mess. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Now your wife has come. I can have it all to myself. You're sick. You're sick. You can make me well, can't you? Yeah? I know you can. Can you get off me? Get off me, over my dead body. Get off me. Son, please, I want you to love me, please. Okay? What are you going to do? You're going to stab me too. I said to you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but just come now. I need your help. Mike, Jesus Christ. What is this? Look, man. She, she slit her wrist. Where is Mercy? She still has a pulse. We have to rush her to the hospital. Come back, me. By burying Mercy's corpse without reporting to the police. You can be a fugitive all your life. You have to turn yourself into the police. We'll get a good lawyer for you. And they will charge you for accessory to murder. You get a few years imprisonment and you will be out. As for Neka. I thank God she's out from danger zone. So you have to turn yourself to the place. Do you agree to that? I agree. Counting seconds as the days goes by Now I'm so lonely and so cold inside I wish it never come this far I wish it never get this late Like I'm dreaming but I'm awake all night 
like I'm stronger, but I'm so weak inside. Oh, I've been praying, but I.